Good evening and welcome back to Tiberborn here with our eight hour work shift where everyone died. They're not dead now because actually jump back several saves. Uh, I had done the wonderful thing of I'll leave the game going. Everything seems stable, everything seems good, I'll leave the game going. Oh, leave the game going, everything will be fine. And I came back to it a couple of hours later and they were all dead. Now luckily before I left it running I decided to save. I thought just in case that would be a thing because they had died and the autosave had saved many 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 times since they had all died out and it all turns out they ran out of water. This reservoir here is fantastic and it's brilliant but if we get a short dry season it doesn't fill up enough in order for us to get the water back. So I think what happened I don't exactly know because I wasn't here watching it but I think what's happened is that we had a wet season we had a short we had a dry season and it dried it out. We had a short wet season so they can only get a little bit of pumping done and then another dry season come along so the pump stopped working so what i've done is just disconnected this town center up here and connected it to the main base which is not ideal we didn't want the beavers up here because um beavers do things because they don't they don't live close to their jobs which is kind of annoying they do weird, weird things but but it's needed it's needed just to keep things going we've got plenty of unemployed beavers as well so it's not exactly like we're worrying about beavers not doing things and um, this is just augmenting stuff on top and uh it's just it's just yeah it's connected to the main base now and everything's working and being fine and fantastic and brilliant another issue is that because we are getting because the dry seasons just come along and kill our power system our our planks are suffering i've got loads of planks now because i connected this storage up here up here we're actually using the uh the planks and things up here um to move things around so this has got planks and gears in it and grilled potatoes which is absolutely fine uh, i could do with probably putting another storage up here uh, maybe it's got carrots and grilled potatoes and things. It's all set to zero, but there is food and things up here. So maybe they'll come up here once they've built the other ones. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how that one goes. Um, but yeah, so when these ones are fill up, they'll come and start filling this one up here, which means it's going to run out of space. But yeah, nah. It's fine. It's fine. But yeah, I need, I need more planks to build more houses here to do more things, which is just a kind of thing that we're stuck on here um i would need to sort out some happiness not all the beavers are happy because they're not getting everything they need campfires are struggling uh, roots are struggling i think that's because of this set here we're not got enough going on here so so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put in another campfire somewhere that was the first sort of port of call that made sense i couldn't remember where i was gonna put it uh we don't need these anymore these can go they got a bit of water inside but it can go I might put it here for these. Beavers travel. It's fine. They've got plenty of time when they're off, off duty. Do whatever they want to do. So. What I'll do is I'll do, I'll do that. Do, I'll put two down there. So beavers can travel. And that'll get that going there. Uh, roofs and things are because of this buildings here. We haven't actually done things. To uh, put any roofs or anything on top of these buildings here. I will do that. Once the buildings are built, uh, we've just got to wait for like, stuff to be made in the centre for them to get across. Uh, I can't remember what I did here. Oh, yes, I'm going to lower those. And what I should do, really, is uh, turn down those and raise those in there. The platform must be built first. It would be so kind. And get things going. But uh, yeah, um, so without this this pumping system here um, is good enough to pump enough water for everyone. Uh, that's fine. But it doesn't always work because of the... Uh, wow, it's a long way down. Come on, come on, there it is. Uh, because the reservoir isn't always 100% full. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know why. I think this one is just so much larger that it takes a lot longer to pump out all the all the stuff from it so that's why that one recovers or lasts a lot longer so uh, but it makes sense just to have both of them yeah beavers have got to walk so far um but we've got two we've got two options now we've got much much water many many waters such water many wow so that should all be good and uh, getting our happiness up and running should be okay as well rooftop terraces are good 
campfires should be better once these ones are built. Food and things are fine. Um, we are producing grilled spaded dock again. It is coming in slowly. Having all having these four farms, uh, three farms running, doing spaded dock was a much better idea. Runs a lot better this way. So, uh, that's all good. Uh, grilled chestnuts are doing good. Ev everything's kind of doing well. I need to keep an eye on the numbers and make sure everything's going up. But um, just basically wanted to check in to say that, yeah, um, everyone did die. Everyone did die. And, um, and I've had to go back and reload it. So I'm going to wait for these houses to be built here. And then we will look at some more happiness things, I suppose, is the best, best sort of idea. We'll put in... Uh, we've got a temple. Is the one temple doing enough? Yeah, the one temple's doing enough. I think um, because we've got such short work days, the beavers don't have to all visit at the same time. So one temple is enough for many, many beavers. Uh, so, yeah, that's all good. Happiness on top of there. And then maybe we should have a look at getting our, our district going here. Uh, even just to get some, some ruins. I mean, maybe we should send some beavers up here. Send 14. Uh, 18 beavers up here. I think that'd be a good idea. You could possibly be turned back on again. We can remove all this here and we can just add. Say, hey, would you take water? And would you take... Uh, Grilled potatoes. Yeah. So yeah, let's do that as well. Let's send some beavers up there. They can they can enjoy themselves up there. Uh, we'll migrate 18 beavers to District 3. But they will live out the rest of their lives being happy and being joyous. And then we can have 10 or however many it is there, 14 in there, uh, doing their thing. And or in there moving the stock from there to here because they work as haulers as it's done so and then we'll fill up the warehouse and we can empty the warehouse for scrap so on and so forth uh but yes the the other thing that i was talking about the power thing that I was talking about, as you see here look the uh we've, we've got the, the river is is flowing we have a temperature thing but it's not running i would like to work on some windmills as well we do have enough science for this and we have the paper and we have yeah so i, I think we'll unlock the big the big windmills and start adding them. They produce up to 200 power. Uh, that was the wrong one. I want that one. Oops. Uh, they produce up to 400 power, although they are extremely unreliable. That's my biggest issue with windmills, is that they are very unreliable when it comes to actually using them. And I can't put two in there because they're too close to each other. Oh, no, I can. I can. Oh, yeah, two gaps between them. So we can put two on the end there for, that for them. There has been a change to them as well, so they can now accept power and output power around them. Previously, they only had the ability to output power in one direction, uh, whereas now they, they can they can actually have them run power through them. So we could put more dotted along here if we wanted to, and um, just add to it. I might do that. I might do that. I might do that. Then we'll just go up and over with some stairs. Let's do that. Let's go over with some stairs. But this is going to take a while to build as well because it needs planks, it needs things, and uh, it needs builders, and builders are slow because they only work for eight hours. Which is fine. Which is absolutely fine. Uh, and then also, what I think I'll do is um, blow out that there. And then we put another set of windmills in there. And that just, just will augment the power a little bit more uh, so that when the, uh, the water wheels aren't running we'll get even more power added to it so yeah okay then so we'll let this run i will watch it and we'll let this run and do its thing here and then we'll be back hopefully when all the houses are actually built okay so the houses are built the windmills are built everything other than the water sources on top are built and another drought is coming which is interesting um we are up to almost 300 beavers I didn't i, I was aiming for 200 we're going to 300 because i turned the houses back on up here as well which is a problem because food is a problem food is dropping food is clearly dropping here is is not good it's not good at all so we need to fix that and 
Uh, I still need to put the things up here for, for happiness for them going on here. So, um, yeah, roof and aesthetic things. Campfires and terraces are struggling a little bit. Um, I think we can sort that out anyway. Maybe with something. We can't actually get up on top of these roofs because of distances we've done things. But we, we can sort that out later. Um, I've got these here as well. Um, I don't need more water pumps. So I might put some terraces along here. Uh, in, fact, in fact, let's just do it. Let's just put some terraces in along here. Um, Terraces there. What else here? Low one. Um, the temple shrugging a little bit. I do want to build a second temple anyway. Uh, and campfire. Always, always campfire. Always campfire. See what we're doing. Uh, oh, I put a, another log pile down here. So we could uh, um, get our logs moved in here so it's closer to buildings. So that's why that there. Let's blow up that. We'll put another campfire in down there as well. That'll help. Uh, but I do want to move the temple. I actually want to move it because this area here does look like it would be a good land for growing crops because we need some we need some crops we need some crops to be grown um we are going there i did upgrade this to a, a larger thing so we can get more more uh, more scrap so that's going to go up to a thousand um i say upgrade i basically i took the scrap out of it and then i built it up. but i'm wondering my, my original kind of plan was going to be to blow a hole along here and let water flow down into here um, and then you know along into here so we've got another access so the water from here would flow into our reservoir quicker as well which would help us i forgot about that that's probably why the reservoir ran out so soon because it didn't have enough going on there but i can't really do that I, I would like to blow that through and let water drop into like this pool here but there's no way i can do that because it would just carry on until it fills up and floods everything so we could kind of just do with the water dump down here filling this this in this whole area in I, I think that would be fine and then that would get all this green here and then we could remove this cliff with many explosives and plant more crops here we could also get rid of the berries because we don't need them we do not need the berries at all they're kind of an emergency food source but we don't need them we, we just do not need berries so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark all that for destruction, so they remove all them. We're going to do that out, and then we'll probably clear up all this area here, get rid of the uh, distribution post as well, um, which is currently feeding our district three, uh, feed food, food and water to district three. Um, I actually added carrots as well to this. It's got grilled potatoes, carrots, and water because um, it wasn't enough. So now they are enough. Um, but I might, uh, yeah, we'll clear this out here, and we'll add more food in here, which is going to be very, very important keep our beavers all alive so what i want to do is find a way to clear this mountain out and it's going to be one hell of a process because i'd like to cut it like right back to here somewhere i, I feel like that would as far, as far back as it goes until the ground is no longer uh is, is, is just dry um but cut it right back and that's a lot of explosives and a lot of time and we don't have much time to do it so i need to kind of do a little bit now and then put in some more farms because if we cut back along here like i have before right back to the, uh, this here uh well here this line here um that would allow us to just build what we've done here we've got more farms and things on there we don't we only really need two to be honest with you um, or three so we need to go back to there at a minimum that's where we need to go that's that's the cutoff line to build the farms in the way we want to build them do that then this 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 that one needs blowing up along there like that and then we'll get a water dump going um, who can just sit here and i feel like dumping just directly into it's fine if i find he can't keep up we'll we'll levy around him so it's only a single dot that would work um, although now, uh, now think about it. Maybe we don't want him there. Maybe we want him like further back here somewhere, which will get a bigger area green. Because it's 14 tiles. 14 tiles. So if he was in there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 would be here. So we'd have an area in the center that wouldn't be good for it. And we'd have all this area over here, which was just useless. So actually putting him like here somewhere, doing some water would make more sense. So I think we'll go with that so we also need we need crops like now 
but we, we do desperately quite badly need crops now. I'm also thinking of coming down here as well and getting some more spade dock down here. So if I was to blow that one up there and then do a staircase there, there and there with a road connecting there, we should be able to get down here. We can put a lumber jack flag in here to remove the trees because we could do with some trees as well. Just do this down here. Bling, bling. That so you can drop down trees here. And then we can put some farms down here and put some more spaded dock in this area down here to get ourselves going. Uh, and then we can get some more spade dock on the go. Uh, all this kind of needs to be done very, very quickly though, because we are struggling for food now. Oh, and that's something I said as well. I put in loads of builders huts up here uh, because things were taking for ages. And I wanted to move these two here. And I went, well, if I move them, we've only got four builders. Let's just build loads up there, um, and then we can do something with that later on. So, yeah. Um, I could also put Spader Dock down here as well. That's an option. Get rid of these these platforms, put some Spader Dock in here. But, uh, I'm not too sure about that. I'm not really sure how I want to go with that. I might also get rid of those trees as well. Do that. Do that. Let's uh, put that up there. Put a Lumberjack flag in. Boop. And, uh, mark this area for removal of trees please thank you and then we could explode this back as well and increase these farms because they are all now empty they're actually running out of uh, areas. I've got some space here as well we could put a farm in if I really wanted to not ideal ideal space but it's doable um, let's just do that and then we can get some specs in here as well uh, but yeah um, we do have lots of chestnuts in the back here that aren't being used these up oh excuse me I have the hiccups uh, these aren't exactly grabbing the chestnuts quick enough uh, these aren't I mean, some of them are full-on chestnuts but we may need more gorillas I think you don't have any spade dock that's the problem spade dock isn't growing you know, quick enough for you to uh, to do anything with so. So that's something we need to address. Uh, oh, I've got this place up here as well, which is a log in it. Uh, you can't reach that far anyway. No, you can reach it here and stop, so we can't build up there, even if we wanted to. Um, not really sure what else to do in this sort of situation. This reaches out to about here. But it doesn't. Reach, I don't, I'm, this is this is the only one here that reaches out far enough on the other side here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mark some of these resources for destruction here. Make that the highest priority, and then we'll put in some more um, gatherer flags in this area to try and get more chestnuts to try and boost this up. Chestnuts. We don't actually need this forester here at all. Could completely get rid of the rid of it and put actually that would make that would make so much more sense let's not do that let's not waste this things we've got let's just remove that and let's add uh, uh, like these two to be destroyed run a path down here and uh, put in two gatherer flags there and two on that side and then we've got even more in the center. That makes more sense. That makes more sense. We don't need a forester there. Not planting trees anymore. Not needed. So that's all good. Um, we're good for wood. Wood is not a problem for us. We are, we are kind of running a bit low on wood, but... It's okay. It's okay. Let's put in uh, another campfire. We might as well make them happy whilst they're going to starve. There we go. Uh, but they've got things to do, and these, these builders would obviously keep up and do things here. Um, uh, I'm going to actually set the builders up to be a lower priority. Not that we're struggling, we're struggling, we've got loads of, beavers, loads of beavers, but I don't want builders over food if I ever make a mistake with that one there. Um, we do have all these set to the highest priority and all these set to the next one. So they will, if beavers start uh, running out, they'll optimize the water down here, which is good. That's the preferred version of doing it. Uh, you can do stuff up here as well. Um, 
We've got some farmland up here as well we can do things with. I do wonder whether actually maybe having a look into doing some bread or something might not be a bad idea. Not that we have the space to store it because we don't have any storage down here anymore. But we could we could do that because I could always move this campfire and put some storage in here for other foods. Uh, or even not have these water things on top of here. Uh, even though they're now full of gears, so I might leave them anyway. Um, but we have... We have other options to do things. We could put some storage over here or something over here. Right now the foods will be installed here. It doesn't matter because again, doesn't the beavers can travel when they're not working and they don't mind that. It's only when they're working you want to optimize things and that's fine because they, they work less than they don't work. So um So we can just put it in wherever. But maybe maybe bread might be an idea. I don't know if bread I mean It's good food. It's like it is really, really good. Um it takes ten days to produce three. Um, and then that becomes one to one and then becomes five. So that's 15 in 10 days. Carrots give you six, seven in 10 days. Just rough numbers here. Um, and potatoes give you one point, one and three quarters, 1.75, which then becomes three, isn't it? Four. So one and three quarters, which would be four, five, six, which would be seven in ten days. So, so wheat is actually the best food type. That's very rough numbers there, very rough numbers. So um, if it's one in six days, uh, ten days is going to be like one point eight, something like that. So, so yeah, potatoes are probably a sort of eight or nine. Um, sorry, seven, maybe eight in in a bamboo, taking into account other things. Um, yeah, but but wheat is 15 in 10 days, so yeah, wheat's probably the better way to go. So let's do that. Let's do a wheat farm up here, or two. Can we get two in? I'd like to get two in. Great. Although I don't actually know if this stays green when this is when this runs out. So maybe we'll just do the one and then set it all up up here with a farm with a grill and a bakery so we'll do that we'll do wheat around this like so we do a farm a single farm should be fine because it takes a long time to grow Farm there Boom. you are set to planting wheat we want a we want to unlock the grits mill but on which can live here but requires 60 horsepower to run then we unlock the bakery which only needs wood to run so that's not so bad there grits mill is going to be doing wheat flour and you are going to be doing bread okay and then we need to give it power windmill let's just give it a windmill yeah Let's just give it its own windmill. There we go. Actually, it's not important. The farm is the important one here. Uh, build a farm. Build the beehive. All these are not as important. They don't need to be worried about. They can be built whenever. Because uh, we need we need the crops first. So, so that'll be going there. But that's a way off. That's 10 days off before we get any any food coming in from that. I may have to convince beavers to not breed for a little bit. We may have to lower our beaverage. Is that just a single row of double houses? Did we not? We only did a single row of double houses. Well, I may turn off all these houses up here, which is going to make loads of our beavers homeless. 75 of them homeless. 73 of them homeless. Um... But it will cap ourselves down to 240 beds. 240 instead of 300. No, we had more than three. Wait, what? What? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. 
at 60. Oh yes, of course we've got more beavers because of these ones up here. I was like, why, why have we got more than 300 beavers when I've only got 300 beds? That's weird. And that's completely unintentional, but I will then turn them back on and we'll hit the 300 mark and that seems like a good milestone. 300 seems like a good set of beavers. We'll go with 300. We'll go with as much happiness as we can get. That seems like a good idea. So, so yeah, so we'll build the farm. We'll build this nice and quickly. Um, got carrots going on here. I always get this nothing to do in range thing. Oh yeah, oh, you, you actually don't have anything to do in range, that makes it. But you will once this hairs a bit. Okay. You will want this hair. Build it there. And what I'm gonna do is like set all of the explosives as a lower priority. They build things like this first and explosives last so we can make more space like that these are the lowest priorities so that's fine you're going to build that that's okay um the drought coming that's all right you are going to start chopping down a spade lock which is good more spade lock in which is fantastic and our population will drop uh, it won't drop quickly because obviously uh just turning off houses that not does not turn off population so It's just going to cull it back, going to stop it from raising above 240 until we can re-establish a food system. Then once we've established a food system, we can re-enable this. Look for 300, get to 300 beavers, and then go mad. Go mad on I'm getting things happy. That can be stopped again because that's just wasting logs. So yeah, okay, there's the plan. There's the plan. We're going to look into doing bread. It's only one little farm up here. It's not going to be enough to run our whole population. I know. Absolutely know that. Um, but it is a start on something. So, yeah, we can, uh, we can sort of take it from there. And I can always, once I figure out when the drought comes and this stops working and this dries out, if this stays green up here, if it does, we might add another beehive over here and uh, just have this farm extend that even further. We will see. We will see. And then we're going to blow this wall up down here and then we'll do some farming down here, which will probably be more carrots and things. Uh, blow this up here. Might do potatoes over here. Uh, we could do spade dock over here as well. May not be a bad idea. Or cattails. We could do cattails over here and get cattail crackers going as well, which might not be a bad idea. Uh, it's just finding the space to do things or making the space to do things because there's no reason why we couldn't do something over here maybe um or something somewhere to uh, like blow a hole uh fill it with water just one deep and then do underwater crops or uh, as this has been done here put in here oh of course oh of course we can't do that there they can't reach that they're out of range because this is too far yeah, that's as far as it goes. Oh, of course, of course, of course. Okay, okay. In that case, let's not bother with that. Um, let's let's instead do what I was originally going to do. Remove those. And we'll put in uh, the ones there instead. And we'll have like eight in that little gap. And hopefully they can reach all the way over to here. So, uh, actually, do you know what? No, no, no. I don't, I don't want that. Uh, nope, no. Remove those two. Let's cancel those two. And uh, what I'll do is we'll do six. We'll do six in that gap. And then there's going to be a little gap on the end for no reason other than it's just there. That's fine. That's fine. Because that's as far as the actual town centre can reach. Yeah, we'll do six. And then hopefully that'll be enough to get more chestnuts being done. So you'll be fine. You are actually full on grilled chestnuts. We are completely out of grilled potatoes. It's going to be touch and go for a little bit. I really, I really feel as if we're going to have a little bit of trouble with food. We may have some beavers die, but I can't do a great deal about that. We'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. So I will let this run, and we will see what happens. 
and we'll come back next time and uh, hopefully all our beavers will be alive. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one and I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>